making her way to the ring. She is the happy slice of lime, Kiera Skybreaker. And her opponent. Making her way to the ring. Hailing from South Africa. She is the transfixer. Bungu Wabahari. The referee for this match, Drew Woodward. All right, here we go, everybody. We're on our road to Amethyst Frost. And this is our first match in the first week of the first event. And this is, you know, we're, we're, yeah, clearly, you know, this is after Unbreakable Tundra's big event, which, yeah, there was some strong controversy. Oh, drop kick to the back after that, that arm drag. Nice hip toss, slap, another hip toss. Yeah, she's start, yeah, Bahati starting to feel that. Um, the Skybreaker, hey, just let everybody know. Nice arm drag. She's she's a former Road Junior champion. She climbed it quick and got it, but wasn't able to to, to hold on to it. You know, Lizzie Sweet made sure of that. Man, she is housing Bahati. Bahati might want to you know fight back. You know, pretty much lawfully required by now, wouldn't it be? Um. But, uh, and yeah, going since this is a women's match, I just, you know, hey, look, Miss Submit, she, she retained, you know, defeating Dollar. And it was a brutal match, but it just, there was just a point, it just started going downhill, and you could see it. Um, there was no controversy with that match. We'll, we'll get to other controversy later. We'll talk about that later. Not not during this match. This is you know Skybreaker wanting to you know be a champion here. Be a women's champion. She was hoping to one day be double champion. She was hoping I'm like, this that's, that's few and far between. You know, but man, she is just hip tossing, arm dragging Bahati all over the place. If you're going, if you're going to wrestle Bahati, you can't, you can't do it strength-wise. That she's going to definitely, you know, destroy your your house of beliefs at that point. This right here, this, you know, yeah, Bahati, she's going to try to slow her down a little bit. You got punch in her face for for that effort. Neck breaker, nice. Then Bahati, you know, she's a former heavyweight champion here on TV. Didn't hold it long, but she attained it. And she would definitely like to be a champion again. I mean, who wouldn't want to be champion, you know? Well, there are some people. I've gone over this ages ago, but there are some people that don't necessarily want to be champion. They just want to wrestle. Then they happen to win a title. Bahati is now stalking. She's stalking Kiara Skybreaker. She's working that neck, working them legs. You know, making her, trying to make her slow down, take away the power of them legs. And working that neck. Oh, that, yeah, all right, that's gotta look, that, that's gotta be illegal. You know, that's, that's pretty much putting your forearm across the windpipe. I mean, that's, you know, you can choke, but you can't put it right on the windpipe. That's, that's, that's deadly. You know, you gotta stay away from the trachea and, and whatnot. You see behind him, she done found something to work on. She's tearing that leg up. And we got 20 minutes. Multiple drops, and yeah, Bahati's like, I'm not gonna keep playing that game. And Skybreaker in drop kick. Right there in the corner. She, you know, Bahati had to absorb all that and just go right into the reverse Boston Crab. Skybreaker's in control again. And then she lost it. What's she gonna do? 
Elbow right to the spine, to the middle of the ring. Skybreaker will run your ragged. And it seems like that's what she's doing. Oh, got down and leaps, leaps to the head again. She caught her once earlier in the corner. Man, that was a stiff toe kick. And Drew Woodward, you know, he's, he's you know, from uh, pedagogy. He wanted the referee here. I don't know why, but that's what he wanted. Taking advantage of that drop kick and to another drop kick. Kiara Skybreaker, she, she's definitely uh, uh, running something. And then into the corner, but Hardy got her elbows. Put her down, got her up. She's got her, that trapped arm German suplex. And they all up in the corner. Inside, cut by Bahati. Two. And, then, and Skybreaker trying to climb over. Oh, nice roll through. Injury Giddy. Or Dami Giddy, since it's in the front. Elevated torture crab. Skybreaker might get the win here. No. Slapped it twice. Three times. Turned her around. Standing switch. Abdominal stretch by Bahati. Man, nice rolling heel kick right there by Skybreaker. Goes for the pin. Two. Not yet. Skybreaker is not known for having short matches. That's what she. The knee strikes to the top of the head. And nope, she weathers that storm. And she's going right back to it. But Hardy sees she sees weakness. That's the one thing she hasn't been able to avoid. You might as well go to it until you can break her will. And she's going for that reverse Boston Crab. She got it. Skybreaker does. Slapping it two, three times. Man, nice one, 180 Frankenstein. And she's, she's going for something. And she's feeling it. Skybreaker's feeling it. Oh, and then Bahati's like, we're going to ruin that day. Go behind. Schoolgirl roll up. Got that deep. Oh, kick out. Skybreaker fights on. And she's like, bring it. Body blow kicks, body blow kicks. Oh my goodness, deep elbow transfixational pain. She got her in it. Crowd's going nuts for it. Power bombs are down. Two, three, and she got it. Your winner of the match is Mungua Bahati. Exhausted that woman is, but yeah, she earned that victory. Earned it outright. Transfixational pain. Yeah, I called it. Okay, I, I remember things. I remember some things. We got more action. We got people returning to ring. Let's roll. Making his way to the ring from Japan. One half of PK Heat. Puma Kid. And his opponent, making his way to the ring, representing Natural Born, from parts unknown, Natural Born Tyrant. The referee for this match, Torgan Holden. Fight. All right, here we go, everybody. Second match, juniors. Puma Kid going back to junior ranks. He was in tag team primarily and only. That's what he just wanted to be, tag team. But, um, yeah, mid December. That's a uh, man, nice drop kick right to the outside of the ring. Uh, he, he suffered a very severe, complicated neck injury from natural born conquerors. They laid in a double lariat, so, and it's projected that he should be back sometime later this year. So, and when I say later, I mean later. He's right now. He's uh, he's not even uh, you know, he's not able to get out of bed to do anything. He's 
you know, he's in uh, the hotel's hospital. Daigo shoots the hotel, massive complex. But he's he's being taken care of. And Tyrant making his way back into the ring. Spending some time relaxing, I guess, on pedagogy is just, uh, you know, pedagogy is pretty much uh, uh, more like just, you know, just a, a, a relax, chill, put on your match, you know, maybe try something new here and there sometimes, and, you know, it's not all win heavy, it's just wrestling to you, just lose, basically. Lose or win, whichever, you know, somebody's got to win. Back and forth they go. Pedagogy is just a you know relaxed show, that's all. It's all good. The referees come in and get some training and go back out to the indies here and there. It's very it's right and very close for ring, I'll give it that. Nice suplex by Puma Kid. You know, the paragon of, soup, of, of of suplexes or if you're across the pond, severely across the pond, you'd be brain busters. Tyron wanting to get back into this in-ring action here. He's like, look, you know, I won that junior title once. I'd like it again. He had a string of favorable, but then at the end, bad luck. He can just never get the job done. He just said, screw it. I just want to do something else. And I was like, well, he's starting this new thing. So... He went there and just relaxed for a bit. It's a good way to collect your mind, you know. Help raise up some new some new wrestling talent and you know, retrain, you know, people that got a little a little too indie riffing and didn't know how to finish a match, teach them how to finish a match. Things like that. He's stomping on that arm. Tyrant developed a small fan base on pedagogy, but uh and I think I'm saying it right. Pedagogy, ped pedagogy, pedagogy, pedagogy is one of them. I like saying pedagogy. Shouting Kai backbreaker. He goes right into the pin. Ooh, yeah, you got that was epic. Tyrant got him. No, suplex him. I thought I was gonna put him up top. Suplex him. Going for the pin. Oh, that short arm clothesline. What's he waiting on? He's coming off the ropes. He's dizzy too. Man, he made him out with that Larry. Yeah, I think that woke Puma kid up a bit. He's got him up. That 180 Falcon arrow hold and no, not yet. Even the Puma kid trying to go from rank 20. I mean rank 26 to rank 20, trying to be Tyrant. Tyrant needs to be careful with disqualification. Laying in the lariats, though. They, they were strong lariats. Shot headlock, a couple of punches, mount to the back, roll up. Will Barrow roll up by Puma Kid. Oh, almost. Almost. Got him. Guard position right into the Juju. And the kid got him up. Stalling him. Stalling him. No suplex in the sun gear. Oh, he, oh, he transitioned it. Jackhammer. They in the ropes. And it, it goes Sage on the apron. Get off the apron, Sage. Off the... Ooh. Are you sure about that? You sure about that finish? Because you hit the hard part of the... Yep. You hit the hard part of the ropes. You do what you got to do. Elbow, pull the kid, put him down. Diving knee drop to the small of the back. We've seen him win plenty of matches like that. One. Two. Three, almost a four count. He would have had it. He would have had it. Sage doing her job, I suppose. Nice suplex out the corner there. Put the kid on Dream Street. Oh, he got duped up. Tyrant was trying to back up for that Larry. Shoji Kai back break and put him down. And the ribs didn't look like it too much. I was whipped by Tyrant. Man. Side buster on that chair. I guess that came into play at some point. Puma Kid, oh, like he was hurt. Drop toe hold. Face plant around the chair. Diving knee drop. That is insult to injury. Puma Kid is wasted, though. He could not get up in time. Tyrant rakes the face. Standing switch by Kid. Off those ropes. Flat back drop kick. Nailed that mess on Tyrant. 
Just got up though. These two are spinning off those ropes. Oh, collision. Puma Kid sacrificed himself just to buy a little time. Back and forth they go. Punches. European uppercut. Stare down. Stare down. Punch. Uppercut. Punch. Uppercut. Rolling Lariat. He got. He snatched him up. One. One eighty Falcon Arrow. One. Two. Not yet. They are both doing everything they can. Nice suplex out the corner. He keep putting him in that corner. Suplex him right out of it. Rolls. Floats. Puma Kid got him. Knee strikes to the body. Good grief. What? Man, them deep knee strikes to the body. Tyron said, get out the ring. We got to settle this here. Oh, he put, he's up there. Those punches are show tays. Can't really see. I think they were show tays. Inside our cradle. On the floor, my ass. Tyron thrown into the barricade. Can't pin out there, Puma Kid. Torgan Holden is, is putting on a fast count. Man, full Nelson, but they in the rolls by Tyrant. Suplex. Rolls it over. Puma Kid rolls it two. Three. Four. He got him up. Jack hammers him. One. Two. Three. And he got it. And your winner of the match is Puma Kid. That was a brutal hard fought match. He he a Morty, a Morty special. Okay. That's what he calls it. I ain't gonna remember that. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I ain't even gonna remember that. But we got more action. We got tag team coming your way, so let's roll. Making their way to the ring, representing reality. Limbo. First, hailing from the cleansing realm. She is the heartless stranger. Purgatory and her partner. Hailing from the timeless void, Eternal. And their opponents, making their way to the ring, representing the lair, Death Unknown. First, from Russia, the Death Panzer, and his partner, the Deadlifter Daedalus Unknown. Referee for this match, Drew Woodward. All right, here we go. Look. Oh, he's starting off. They made to think about it before dropping it. That Carolyn Lift slam. You know, in the Olympics, he scored lots of points and stuff, but it was never a, a knockout blow. I mean, you're landing on pretty much the lowest part of your your upper back. It's not really, the, you know, a, a knockout blow like something like the proclaim it is is brutal looking you know and if someone does it in a certain way yeah it'll it'll mess you up real bad but that would that would be brutal I mean it would take a lot out of you just to do it that way I don't want to you know give up the, the goods on that 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 just be bad unknown been known at small junctures to sometimes do it that way you know pretty much I, I told him you might want to hold off on that but speaking of unknown you know Mavison she's wow she's been digging in at people but she's she's ticked unknown off and unknown I mean she's just you know look I know got a count out a couple of weeks ago you didn't have to, I suppose. I don't know. Tiger Lee took great advantage. That double suplex and purgatory to the outside right there. You know, she's, she's been uh, real sweet on Panzer. You know, um, talking to him a little bit more than others. But, you know, taking shots at Unknown. Unknown's getting... He, done got, he got pissed off about that. You know, and... Then you got the Master of Four Championship last week, and Unknown didn't fare so well in that. So, you know, 
a new former heavyweight champion, former master four champion, former tag team champion. You know, he's pretty much done it all, you know, on TV. You know, that's what a heavyweight can do. We don't have a super heavyweight category because if we had enough of them, definitely that's where he would compete and get out the heavyweights of it. Oh, come on. Let's see. Yeah, uh, yeah, Panzer saw what heavy coming into the ring. And she always she seems to be the one to come out. They, it's like they almost either sacrifice her or use her to get away with stuff. It's double close one by Limbo. Heaven struggling to drag Panza. She was struggling. She was struggling. More just struggling. She was struggling. And back and forth, chop, punch, chop and punch and chop and punch. And Heaven's like, you don't get any rest. Because even when you land on the mat, you can take a, a you know a few huffs and puffs and get your wind back a little bit. Heaven's like, nah, none of that. Be no three count, not on Panzer, not not on the big tank like that. No. Uh uh. You know, he was born he was born in Germany, but had to uh, as a little kid. I think before he was six years old, his family. I mean, as I, I don't understand the circumstances, but fled to Russia. I, I normally wouldn't want to get out of there back in those days, but just, hey. It, I don't know the circumstances, but he they, they they went there and that's been his primary place of residence until more recently, man. That military press backbreaker from unknown. He's been turning up the heat in this match. That half step over crab right there. Or step over half crab. They're gonna just drag him back about you just, just scrape his body up on the mat. It's not gonna do too much. Match kind of not smooth, but you know, you can move it. Oh, here comes the Master Four champion, their leader, Flara. She's 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 seen enough, I suppose. She's like, we're gonna have to even this out. Come on. Ooh, Iron Claw got her, got her. And Flaris was standing there, just you know, it's like you know somebody's gonna come in that ring, but she don't tag team that often. That just Probably what once every two years or so she get in a tag team match. I don't know. I think she's been in one. So yeah, she she's. I don't think she's too experienced in that. Tag team is not her thing. Nice tiger wall flip. Man, you can hear Panther lay that in. Urakin by the by the Master Four champion. Oh, messed him up because he was definitely going for a spear. And you know how he, he get down. He's like, look, we just break your ribs up. Oh! Yeah, I'm glad you got down fast because I know what a mess was. She gone. She gone. Burning hammer! Dropped her. Dropped her. Goes for the pin. Then in Switzerland. It's even. Yep. And it was broken up. Destiny choke slam. Weak kick by Purgatory. Grinding that elbow. See, I think she's using that spike at little points. I don't know. Double Lariat puts Purgatory down. Go back mount position. Floats. Double leg trip. Rolls her over. Unknown's on top. Floats. He's going for it. He's got it. Carolyn lifts. Slam. Floats over in one smooth motion. She slips out. And she's going to make a tag. Eternal is in now. Limbo's been having small trouble. They made a comeback, and now it seems to be about even. Pens are working at it. Man, Wild Bomb transitioning to a reverse Boston Crab. Yeah, got to get her off. Got to make sure you, but he couldn't get her, get her off of him. But you got Michinoku Driver 2, figure for a headlock combination. He's letting everybody know, look, I'm, I'm, I'm all right. I'm good. Gut wrench. Suplex there by your nose and pants are wrenching on that head. That that neck really. Man, Drew Woodward, he's 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 got him pretty much a night off. Backbreaker of unknown origin. Purgatory busted down. Standing shooting stop. And there's a save right there. He got her up. What's that? Mauna Kea suplex. 
Oh man, yeah, he was playing this son. He was gonna he was gonna spear her. He I saw that backup. Oh, I don't know how much of a save it was, but a save nonetheless by Purgatory, who's with the legal wrestler right now. Standing switch, slip on that shit surrenders. Yo, winners of the match is death. Unknown. Oh, and he, he's gonna keep on whipping up on her. Trying to get her back for heaven. Interfering. Nice, nice work. Did good. All right, we got one more match until the heavyweights show up. So let's roll. Making her way to the ring, representing Deadly Wrestling Alliance from Japan, one half of the body hackers, Nikumu. Making her way to the ring from China, representing Destroyers of Anatomy and one half of the tag team Twan Dui Tijiao. Beautiful intellect, Mei Li Ji Li. The referee for this match, Van Perry. Fight. All right, here we go. We got mixed division coming up. Well, it's right here. Um, you know, look when it comes to. I would say a, a, a changing of hands going on the thinking about the last match. Uh, I, I'll be honest with you, I'm still stunned that Comet defeated Soberana Draganes for the Junior Heavyweight Championship. I uh, I didn't see that coming, and I've I've seen how their matches have gone in the past, and I didn't see anything different out of comment she just I mean it was a fight it was a battle but I didn't expect her to win so she, she's been at home looking at that title she's held it before she's held it before she you know she was one of the, the first to hold that title and you know she, she got it back she's happy about that you know so that's all good. That's all good, you know. Happy wife, happy life. So that's. <laughs> and right here, the mixed division, after we saw the last match with Flaris coming out, Master of Four champion, Nikumu and Meili Jili, I mean, they want to do it again. And either one of them can get up there. No kicks and punches to the arm. I think those punches. Elbow drop to the knee. And I mean, she put a serious elbow on that knee now. Ooh, stiff elbow. Dragon screw off the top. Sweet kick. Really, she's going she's gonna to focus on. She's going to hyper focus on your legs, your knee, your ankle. Ooh. Flat back drop kick in the corner by Nikumu. That, that, you know, she, I mean, she's not a giant or nothing, but you know, in terms of your average female, that's a big woman. You know, she ain't Mungu Wabahani big, but that's, that's, that's a big woman. Oh, nice kick to the arm right there. Off those ropes. Satellite arm breaker. She missed that. She tried, but Gigi closed in and closed the gap. Killed that aim. And with that takedown, she got that heel hook in. Oop, got a kick in her face for that. You know, look, I'm all for Nikumu, but at the same time, you know, kick get kicked in the face. You got to, you got to retaliate. And Geely is definitely gonna do that. That's for sure. Ooh, punch it to the knee. She's like, you wanna work on the leg? He's like, you work on the leg. Put the leg down, she got her up. Brain buster. She snatched her up and did it. Ain't like Mei Li weigh a billion pounds, pounds or anything. So, yeah, she just snatched her little tail up. Jeezy's gonna have to really look out for that power from now, from, from now on. She survived that brain bust that seemed to come almost out of nowhere. She's gonna have to really be, you know, focused on evading that kind of thing. Elbows right in the corner. She, yeah, she can't get away. She's up under the ropes. 
that's 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 a brutal way to get to get beat on right there. And she was she was uh, yeah she was gonna go for that stretch muffler. That's her thing. But uh, Mikumu she got up. She spoiled that Tiger Driver. That's the, that's the original that DDT type move, not the power bomb. I don't know why and when they changed it. Oh, Patella Driver. That Patella Driver. But Mikumu she she survives it. She keeps fighting. Sweet kick by Jimmy. She's she's the first women's champion. And that title used to be the Year of the Beast Women's Championship. She bought it here, and since that comp that company Year of the Beast, that that's defunct now. So it's just the women's title. Nice hammer throw right there by Gili. Put in the corner. Basement drop kick. See the crowd knows when she starts doing that in the corner. That that that's, that's blood in the water. Rolling knee bar, but. Oh, she's not in the ropes. I think her head's up on the ropes. Oh, that leg is hurt. That leg, man, Kumu's leg is hurt. Off those ropes, Zili comes. Oh, and she caught her again, away from the ropes this time. Some of the crowd not too happy about that. Sweet kick. No, sweet lariat. My bad. She's telling her to get up. Crowd's not too happy about it. Kumu's on Dream Street. Another rolling knee bar. And she surrenders. She had no choice this time. Your winner of the match is Mei Li Ji Li. And she is exhausted. She should be. She should be. Man, well, we got heavyweight tournament. Last month it was the juniors. This month, Amethyst Frost is going to be the heavyweights. Let's get to that. Let's roll. Making her way to the ring, representing Kyra. One half of Tyranny. T. M. Squared. And her opponent from India representing hierarchy and one half of warriors of the deity he is the servant of the deity tiger Lee the referee for this match the Larry all right, hey, hierarchy versus hierarchy. This is a tournament here, so I mean, what happens happens. So you gotta, they're gonna climb it. They're gonna try to climb these mountains. And the way it goes, just like the juniors, is whatever your rank is, and I'm choosing the bottom ranked. You go six rungs high, so there you go. So. It's Team Squared is challenging Tiger Lee. Something that I Tiger Lee is not exactly happy about. But what you gonna do? You gotta fight, right? Tiger Lee will warm up. Look, they, they train together. They train together. Um, so I, I'm sure you'll you'll thoroughly come around and not hold back. Team Square isn't going to hold back, period. Now, the controversy I spoke about earlier was the way that Team Square lost. Man, nice yeah, little, little gator roll there. Um, yeah, she was getting ground pounded by Beijing, and the ref wasn't stepping in. The ref wasn't stepping in. He just did and I was told he just didn't know if, you know, is it a, a, a beating? Because the, the, the strikes were rapid. But when he held her down for the pin, he was like, well, I can do that. And I'm like, you should have broke it up. You know? You see her striking that, that, that shoulder right there uh, during that exchange. And... You know, I'm like, yeah, it's not, thinking about it, it's not a strike exchange. Bajan just pounded her out, held her down for the pin, and that was it. I don't even know she was conscious. I really don't. 
You could see that she couldn't fight back. She wasn't responsive. And I'm... I thought we got to make it up to her, you know? This month, I'm at the cross was going to be uh, double tag teams during the month. But, you know, to showcase the tag team division a whole lot more. But I'm like, we got to give her an opportunity to, to, to redeem herself, thus us redeeming ourselves. So, this tournament is taking place. I didn't like what I saw. Bajan's like, it is what it is. Bajan does not care. He's like, I got this belt. That front net lock, I like that. I don't know, I love a front net lock. Certain, certain wrestlers do it well. Life sucks when he does it. Elbow strikes right to the face. And see, Bages was a little quicker than that. But you can tell he was putting umph into them strikes. I mean, it's like he was trying to cut her open. That's what it looked like. Trying to cut her open with them elbows more so than anything else, you know. But they were heavy strikes. But she's busy. STO by Tiger Lee. Crazy the day he drop. Those are over. Tiger Lee's warming up. It's late, but he's warming up. He's like, look, we're going to do this. And now she's going for Yeah. They're, they're a little tired, but taking advantage is what you got to do. You know, it spins, spins a lot of energy. Ooh, cross arm choke. Shizaki Jinsei, you know, that, that, that's his thing. That's the first person I ever saw do it. Or Americanized Jinsei Shinzaki. Oh, there you go. Cheating. But he don't, like I said, he warm up. He's warmed up. Tiger Lee has warmed up. He had to even get away from that. She's like, I don't know where you're running to. I mean, basically, you have to run to me. And then the, the, the beatings will continue. Or the stretches. Oh, nope, the beatings. The beatings will continue. And Tiger Lee's like, get off me. And that's not a mask for, for COVID. That's just him. That's just him. Man, he's going I don't think that affects women as much as it do, guys. I don't think you're going to get too much out of that. Off those ropes. She's like, oh, she tried. She tried. She's like, I'm going to find a way. <laughs> she tried to get that elbow in. Oh, she got that one in. Good grief. <laughs> she popped him good. Now, she coming off the ropes after huffing and puffing. I don't know about that. Man, got that arm. And nope, no surrender, not yet. And look, the way this is going to go, if it goes to a draw, that means Tiger Lee will be able to advance. So they, they got to, uh, roughly nine and a half minutes left right now. <laughs> oh man, gut pin two. Sleeper choke, that's, that's one of her babies right there in the, in the ropes, though. Elubo. I'm young, she's, she is pissed with Bajan. She's letting everybody know, look, I can throw them bows too. And he's throwing them knees. She's going to have to switch up her game plan. She got, she, she got to stop trying to show off or whatnot. Look, we know you can throw elbows. Every wrestler can throw elbows. Every MMA fighter can throw elbows. But you got to do what you do. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I think about it too. That was a hit. Back and forth they go. She's punching that arm. She is punching that arm. He's chopping her. She won out on that one. Mounted elbows. She needs to. She needs to go with the stretch, the choke, the cranking, the joints. That's her thing. She has killed her game plan, trying to prove something, and this can cost her dearly. And she kicks out. She just got the shoulder up. There we go. Guillotine choke. And he, she, yep, he surrenders. The winner of the match is T M Square. That's what I was talking about, everybody. That's what I was talking about. Get back to your roots. Do what you do. Don't do what they do. Don't try to prove yourself. I know you're mad, but you got to win your way. That's the thing. Win your way. All right. We got more. Let's roll. 
making his way to the ring, representing Deadly Wrestling Alliance and one half of Team DWA, Kaya Jin. And his opponent, also representing Deadly Wrestling Alliance, she is one half of Las Conquistadoras, Merto. The referee for this match, Mr. Senior Jr. All right, everybody. This is our second heavyweight matchup. Kaiju, former heavyweight champion, multi time heavyweight champion. A couple of years ago, he had that brutal, brutal uh, series with life. And <laughs> I, I'm going to be honest with you know, life, he's got the majority of the wins by one. I think it's one. It might be two. I don't know. But it's life. I, you know, I just say it's even because I don't like life. <laughs> that's, that's wrong. I knew. But, uh, life angers me on a personal level. Uh, and this is interfaction. Uh, you know, Medito and Kaijin. You know, I know who I should root for and I don't know who I should root for. <laughs> Yeah, he's working that arm, well, the shoulder anyway. Elbow knocked down. Dragon screw. Medita's gonna. She's gonna work the arms and the legs and the head. I think uh, she works everything, but she's not like you know, listed lip or Rojava Azevedo. She ain't like that. She's working that arm right now. Ooh, nice body kick. Left punch. Arm ringer. She's going to keep working it. I, I know, look, I just stay away from you and just kick or something because I can't keep, you know, I can't let you keep grabbing this arm. Shoulder knockdown. He comes off the ropes. Sliding drop kick. Or just baseball slide. Basement drop kick. She's like, yeah, let's do that. Ooh, nice preemptive body kick by Kaiser. Stomping on the wrist, Metato does. You know, he gonna work the leg in the body. She takes a chop in that head. She takes a chop to win. To the top she go. Diving, flashing elbow. Oh, she missed. Hurt that elbow a little bit. Diving knee drop and he nails, he connects. Deep cover hook of that leg like he should. Only a one count, but you know, you got to hook the leg. Got to hook the leg. You know, if you don't hook the leg, it's because you done messed them up that much. You don't have to. She's getting out of the way of them kicks. But watch out, Senior Junior. Shoulder knocked down to the top. He hops up there. Diving knee drop right there again. Right, right there to the upper bread basket area. Two and no. But see, he's like, you're getting close. Or are you? You know, oh, basement drop kick. Stomp to the arm. She's still working. Oh. Yeah, he's going for them kicks. And she's like, no way. Jumping suplex. And he's going for them kicks, but she is denying it. It's a quick combination, low, middle, high kick. I mean, you know, we all train together, so she knows what to expect, but you can only get out of the way but so much. It can only evade but so much. Oh, oh my goodness, what a combination. 
He got some quick hands and feet. You know, those, those feet got PhDs on them. And she was falling out. Luckily, he didn't connect with that last kick. Off those ropes. Oh, bicycle knee strike. And he's going to wait. This is combinations coming up. She's like, nope. And she missed the basement drop kick. Knee to the body right there by, by Kaijin, the former multi time world champion. Somersault leg drop. Or somersault guillotine drop. Call him hangover. Whichever you want to call it. One, two. Oh, she just kicked out. Just got, just, just kicked out just in the nick of time. Drag them screw leg whip. And she hit the leg. And she hit the leg that she dragged him through. I would, I would think you, oh, he, he got all three that time. Someone saw leg drop. I would think you hit the leg that you didn't drag him through because you can't use the hurt when you kick out. One, two, he's hooked. And he got it. The winner of the match is Kaya Jin. Good job. Good job. Good job, man. Good job. Yep. And they, they didn't do anything that you normally would see them do. They had to change it up. They had to be different because they know what to expect from each other. Good job, though. Let's roll. Making his way to the ring. Representing reality and what have the tag team reality. Hailing from your first breath, live. And his opponent, from parts unknown, representing natural born, one half of natural born conquerors, natural. Born leader. The referee for this match, Mr. Senior. Five. All right, here they go locking up, and they usually have brutal matches. Oh, he, he popping him. Triangle body slam. Life going from head butts, and he's like, "You reel back, and I'm gonna punch you in the face." Not gonna lie, I I I, I told him to do that. I said, "Look, he likes the head butt. He likes the head butt. Just pop him in the face. When he reels back, pop him in the face." Oh, life with some punches of his own. Elbow to the back. Stop to the back. Leader was in control, and now life got it. Nice punch, kind of body slam. Got Sage out there looking on. We got 20 minutes. Kind of body slam. And just to let y'all know, our main event is going to be death. The other half of reality versus Hemlock. No, not Hemlock, Hurtlock. Nice, he bowled him over. I like that. Do it again. Pick him up and just run him over. Sleeper choke. And safe slide in the chair. I don't mind this time. Side headlock applied. Back and forth they go. Elbows run out. Life finds a way, don't it? Stomp to the back of the leg. Multiple stomps. Multiple stomps to the face. I just went by life. Headbutt. He got one in. He finally got one in. They stomp it on the face. Man had dropped, knocked down, Achilles stretch. Conquerors are known for the youth. They utilize the most simplistic stuff in wrestling to control not just the opponent, not just the pace of the match, but the damage that the opponent is taking and how much that they don't have to take. 
some moves you do, you're gonna hurt yourself. But natural born utilize simplicity a lot of times until well, then it's not it ain't time to be simple anymore. Oh, he tried, but that hit but got through another one got through. Leader is finding himself in, in, in hot water right now. Oh, he's like, I got a headbutt too. And the headband has been checked, everybody. It's not, not what you think. And then he go. Doing his age. He got the, that ground mandible claw. Whoa! Man, that, I mean, that's hard to kick out of. Dead Valley Driver! One, two. two. Oh, and he's doing it again. Yeah, he in the ropes though, ain't he? He's, yeah, and, 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 and no, Sage got a right to complain. Head held Western Lariat. One, two, three. I ain't gonna lie, I doubt he would have been pinned because the ref, you know, he's getting up there in age. And Leader is definitely taking advantage of this. It's causing damage. Hit but by life. And he's doing it again. Two. Yeah, he kicks out. Like with that front net lock. Leader is in trouble. Rolling elbow. Too tired to follow up. He's got him up. Brain Buster. Can you get him? Two. No. They tie up. He's got him up. Pile driver. He's trying again. Can you get him? One. Two. Just two counts. What is life doing? Stomp to the back of the neck. Toe kick. Butterfly face buster. That double underhook face buster. What? Sage didn't do anything bad right now. She got up there trying to tell him to kick out. And you got to go over there and bother her. Come on now, Mr. C. You better than this. And then elbow strikes. Mounted elbow strikes. And you're going to keep wearing away at him. Lita has got to find a way out of this. A headbutt. Good grief. And he surrenders. The winner of the match is, is life. Come on, dude. Dude. I don't. Somebody got to do something about this. It, we, got, we got one more match. Main event. Death. Hurt Lock. Let's roll. This is your main event, making his way to the ring, representing reality and one half of the tag team reality, hailing from your final breath, death. And his opponent. Representing jailed without order and one half of JWO Lock. He was the co-leader. Hurt Lock. Your referee for this match, Chuck Goose. All right, main event. And we see, they're like purgatory. Yeah, that's purgatory. And who, the life, life stayed out there. And there's hell. Okay, so you just got people out there. You just, someone slid something. I heard somebody slide something to the ring. That must be on Hurt Lock's side. I mean, you're going out there against someone in reality. You know it's going to be more than one. Oh, no. He got back in quick. Yeah, he gave him a cursory look. Okay. 
and his brothers out there. The other half of JWO Lock, him Lock, the other co leader. And then JWO Block, D Block, and B Block. Ooh! Look, rising, smacking like uppercut. Go up to the back. It's not a stick in for. And you know, life just, man, he ticks me off. And I can't be impartial. And man, nice combination, but you know, Hurt Lock, he can take that. Stomp to the face, elbow drop, holding that leg. 20 minute time limit, folks. His main event. Rank 16 going for rank 10. Breaks the face off those ropes. Kitchen sink. Burying that knee right to the uh, bread basket, make it flip over. Stomp to the face. Nice mountain bomb right there. This your normal, normal standing with. Club to the back. And a low blow. I I don't know what to make of all this. I know that both sides are going to interject themselves into this match. I know they're going to be a bother. I know this because they don't do anything less. I know JWO Block, which is B Block and D Block, the juniors of... of JWO, they um, I mean in weight class, they uh, they're not happy with uh, how that match ended at the big event with Malfeasance. They ain't happy with that. Maybe this is their way of attempting to blow off some steam or something. But you can tell Hurtlock got a lot of experience as he rolled in really quick. Nice riding bond. Yeah, I, I, I like that move. You don't get to see it too often. But you can see how Hurt Lock rolled in real quick earlier when he was filled outside the ring by death. He got away from his little brooding entourage out there. Nice switch and got the knee strikes into the head. I know it's not going to come to anything at this moment. Wait, death already got him up. Pile driver. One, two, and nope. He stole him in there across space. And Nevada Lock 2 did not last too long. Poke to the eye. Good grief. Punch. That's insult to injury. Mountain bomb. Death is up first. He's got a hold of him. Suplex. Death is looking a little out of breath. Is there a rope dope going on? Butterfly. Spike DDT. And Death has got up. He's on Dream Street. Headbutt. In the world, reverse crab. Hey, you can see Chuck Goose checking on him. He's got him up. Cross our brain buster. And death is just up. What in the world? Drop down. That scoop Aztec Northern Light bomb didn't put him down. But Ball space didn't put him down. What in the world is it going to take to put him down? Yeah, hurt a lot. You can tell he's backing up. Another DDT. He ain't getting up that to. Okay, look, come on, man. I wish you could just leave it alone, Chuck, and just let them argue with themselves or something. And see, just outright distracting, cross face on, and he's taking advantage of it. 
He's in the rope, but there can't be a break because there's no ref to break it up because he's distracted by hell. That works in Hurt Lock's favor until that uppercut happens. And Death got to get his breath. A, a headbutt, it would be one. Well, he went for that sleeper. He got rolled over. And now he rolls over, floats. Death's in control. Got him up front, net lock. And there goes him lock, distracting the ref. I don't blame him. Free and net break a drop by Hurt Lock. He goes for the pin. There's no ref, and I doubt he'd get the pin anyway. Missing the respect of strikes, back and forth with chops. Back and forth, back and forth. Rolling elbow. And he's out of breath, he couldn't follow up. Death is on him. Poke to the eye. Oh, uppercut to the back of the head. And now he's got that camel clutch on. Come on, Hurt Lock. I don't like you much, but man... I hate death. I at least got respect for Hurt Lock. He's got that front net lock again. And the ref is distracted. Right now, I can say fortunately so. Aztec scoop Northern Light bomb. And one, two. No, not yet. Not yet. Headbutt. And if this match goes to a draw, Hurt Lock will advance. Chop punch. STF. He, get, he got to get to the ropes. And now Hemlock is, is up on the apron. This is it's just, just wild right now. That reverse half crab is cranking on that knee. Chop, put him down, finally. JWO special. He's got him up. What's he gonna do with him? German suplex hold. Two. Uh, not yet. Death is surviving. Toe kick. He got that knee, it looked like. Hurt lock filling his oaks. And headbutt just pretty much knocked the feeling out of him. And he's got that sleeper on. He's got that sleeper. Him lock got out of, I mean, Hurt Lock got out of it real quick. He's got him. Knee strikes to the top of the head. If the ref sees this, it might be over. Knee strikes. Nope. No ref. Mountain bomb. He got two and a half, almost two and a half minutes left. Sleeper, he got the sleeper on death does. Elbow butt. Okay, Gabby. He's got him. Suplex pile driver. And he's not going for it. Not he, he should. Suplex. He just threw him over. Time is running out. Multiple headbutts. And he says, this is it. Uppercut. That was brutal. He just might have him. Two. Three. And your winner of this match is dead. Uh, not, not my favorite. Not, not my happy ending. Um... But it is what it is, right? So look, thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for, for, you know, tuning in, you know, from whatever device you're going to tune in from. I want to thank you for that humbly from my heart. I really do. I thank you. I love it. I appreciate it. Um, I want y'all to make sure, hey, watch The Road, The Road every Tuesday. You know, no commentary, but it'll definitely be, you know, music background and whatnot. Uh, Mavis, it might be up there with another throat ripping interview. Um, so, look, with that said, this has been such a candidate for CR Wrestling, CR Wrestling Commentary, CR Fire Pro, CR Fire Pro Road, Pain and Agony Wrestling, all that good stuff down there in the description. Check them out. You know, 
just subscribe to him, give him some light, give him some love. You know, hey, tell him, hey, look, Cedric sent me here. CR Fire Pro sent me here. CRW717 sent me here. One of them aliases sent me here. All right. So, with that said, good night, everybody. <laughs>